today is here at the Nice Longer Performing Arts Center in Greenville, Tennessee for the 21st Annual Golden Trailer Awards, honoring the best of the best of that storytelling art form known as the movie trailer. The Golden Trailer Awards are considered the Oscars for motion picture preview, so the best of the best of movie marketing. It's a combination of last year and this year. The entry spans from April of 2019 to April of 2021 was the entry period, and it's for a trailer that was created during that time. So it's not for the film release, it's for the trailer, because trailers are cut um, six months to a year in advance of a film. So our show is historically a forward-looking show, but this year you'll see some favorite from the year before combined together because of the pandemic. And we also expanded to seven categories and where it's usually five nominees per category, but we wanted to, to expand the categories to give that breadth to the whole two-year uh, process. Back in 1999, we had gotten the rights to a novel and we were looking to shoot that into a feature-length movie. Realizing the challenges in raising money for a feature-length film, we knew we could raise the money for a trailer. So we began to look for the best of best. And in so doing, we realized, you know, not only did we love this art form, but what a shame. These guys are hard to find. They're all anonymous, essentially. There's no credit on the end of the movie. There's no credit for them at the end of the trailer. So, you know, all the glory, and they're not the same people that work on the film. We decided to do an award show. And I am haunted to this day by saying, yeah, we'll just get some big judges and the show will go on autopilot, because quite clearly, 20 years later being all consumed by the trailer industry, it doesn't. It started out in, the show was in New York, and we would bounce back and forth between New York and LA. And then we, after 2009, we parked the show permanently in LA because Los Angeles is the movie marketing capital of the world. And so we have the show out there, but this year because of, of the pandemic, we're doing a multimedia event from here in Greenville, Tennessee and streaming to Los Angeles. Trailers are cut so far in advance of the movie. So much goes into the planning and, and the marketing and the rollout that um, you know, oftentimes we get trailers that are you know looking into the future. So our trailer years is based on the time that the trailers are cut. The trailers for the Golden Trailers come in from all over the world. You know, and the sophistication and you know the uh, wow, all the great cutting that you see coming in from all the far corners of the world is overwhelming. A LA event coming here is cool. It's like a, the best of both worlds. The editors, I, I love that because I'm a comedian and I made my mark in my city from videos during the pandemic. So I know the power of the editing and people don't put respect on the editor. So the fact that they're putting respect on the editor means a lot to me because I think that was real. I love it. It's been a fantastic, fantastic event so far. So I hope that there'll be more to come. As a girl coming from a small town, I had, it was population 400 when I lived there. There's always something so special. And I'll tell you what, if I could win a golden trailer, that'd be the happiest day of my life. So that's coming from a country girl right there. I performed in this beautiful theater, which is a state-of-the-art theater here in East Tennessee. I've been in here four times. It's beautiful. The theater is beautiful. And then they had all these um, darling people sack me in this dress, honey, try to get me in this dress. All these beautiful people. And the whole thing, they told me it was going to go fast. But I did not realize how fast it went. But it was because all those trailers are fascinating and riveting. There's a filmmaker inside everyone. If you have a story to tell, tell it. Get it down. So I think the fresh voices are, are what's going to keep people tuned in and um, telling those great stories. I'm Karen LeBlanc. We'll see you next time as we bring you more stories from thought leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs from around the world as we check in on what's trending tomorrow.